Hello everyone, I am Mesh and I am Senior Test Automation Architect with 14 plus years of experience in software test automation. I got approved one patent that is on the BACnet Analytics for the Healthy Building Networks and other in queue for the Multifunctional Automation Framework. In my current role, I explore new technologies and tools in the market and introduce them to our test processes and bring value to the organization. Also providing a technical architecture, defining strategic direction for testing or automation practices. Now I am serving as an expert in defining and rolling out the standard automation frameworks in line with the latest industry trends like complex architecture and scriptless automation. Now I participate in applications design reviews ensuring quality automation practices, example like your Pirami, TDD, BDD culture and uh, nowadays which are used in your software development uh, or the deployment life cycle. Now today I am going to explain a very important uh, topic that is uh, major roles and responsibilities that how come we explain if you have an experience of 3 to 7 years in the field of test automation and if you if somebody asks you in interview what are your roles and responsibility I am going to explain you that in the detail way that at least you can explain in your interview. Now, if you can see, uh, uh, like in the today, uh, I just now I checked on the Naukri and there are over 17,000 job opportunities for automation test engineers on, only in India. Now, recruiters throughout uh, the world mainly focus on your skills and experience in the field. Now, they are looking for professionals who can build and enhance test automation frameworks for various software. And also recruiters are preferring software test engineers and job seekers who can ensure the delivery of high quality products through the software testing principles like your test automation, collaboration, framework design and test execution using Selenium or any other library or tool. Now in order to give a, a head start to your career accepting all the roles and responsibilities of automation test engineer you should have a resume and built in such a way that it stands out among other applicants too. Now with the market and the demand for testing engineer uh, growing at this rate, you need to build an automation test engineer resume in order to grab your chance to work the leading companies. You can watch my video on the resume template how to prepare your resume as well uh, so that you will get some idea how do you prepare your automation test resume. Now many failures I see with automation are not caused by technical issues but rather by the interviewee how uh, he or she explain uh, his or her role and responsibility as an automation test um, with an experience of years 3 to 7 years. Now let's consider you are the senior automation engineer or automation mentor or somewhere where you are uh, working as an acting lead. Now obviously test automation is not just programming. And if you do not have enough skills uh, to automate and focus on other things, you can contribute that there are multiple, if you can see on my screen, these are the major six areas which you need to explain in your interview. The first one is saying my feasibility, okay, where in my first phase, if you can see, I can say I am going to identify the expectations, challenges to perform the automation. That is my one of the role. Then I can say I wanted to identify the current processes and the tools those are involved in my current project or my current industry. I can identify the application and do the detail analysis. Then I can I have read out all the documentation or we can say the reader documentation and I can identify overall the QA maturity of my particular team. Now this is your uh, major uh, the first phase that is feasibility phase where you can explain such roles. Now the second if you can see the roadmap. Now when I ask what is a roadmap so as an automation tester I should aware why to automate then what to automate then how to automate when to automate and who will automate. So these are the major things if you identify you can say I am particularly in a role where I need to identify the roadmap of my this current project or module for the automation. Okay so when I say why to automate there you need to identify your organization objective and its ROI that is region of investment. 
when I say what to automate, you need to identify the suitable automation candidates and you have identified the application. Now, how to automate? So, in the how to automate, you, your role is to identify the technical solutions and the tool set or the library. Those are used to automate that particular application or a model. When I say when to automate, you need to do the prioritization and the project plan you need to prepare. This is again one of your important role when you are saying you are the mentor or the acting lead. And when you say who will uh, automate the last point, then you need to identify your role is to identify the team organization and the people of their role, individual roles and responsibilities. So this is your very important phase when you say it, you need to explain your roles and responsibility as an experienced guy. Now my third role is a framework creation or a POC. When I say POC, it is nothing but a proof of concept using your automation framework and integration with associated tool sets like your test management tool and defect management tool. Now, when I say um, um, it is a framework creation, you need to do some of your roles like tools evaluation, you need to do some POC preparation, then you need to set up and build the framework, then you need to project some pilot solutions to the uh, uh, your management, and then you need to provide some stakeholders demo too. These are the major roles in this third phase. Now, the fourth phase is your development. In the development, you need to do your roles are like analysis of your test flows. You need to identify what are the test flows that I need to automate. Then you need to find out the test cases update or its documentation. Then you need to identify automating your test scenarios, which are the scenarios you are going to automate like your prioritizations too. You need to prepare your test scripting. You need to prepare your test data preparation and you need to prepare your test suits. So all those are your major roles in the development phase. Now the fifth phase you can see here execution, analysis and the maintenance. So these are the multiple three different ways which you need to collaborate into one phase. But I can explain all these three different way in a different uh, uh, in the different uh, point itself. So let's say test execution. So in the test execution, you need to find out your regression or the smoke testing where you need to identify these are my regression suit, these are my smoke suit and I need to prepare my test cases. And other on your demand test tool, let's say your manual team members comes and they ask you, can you do this automation for this particular test cases too? These are your on demand test. When I say test analysis, in the analysis, your automation testing results comes and your defects reporting comes. This is also major role when you said you are the senior test engineer or senior automation test engineer. Then you can say your test script maintenance. So updating your test data, that is a regular your role and refactoring of your existing automation scripts again comes under your maintenance. Plus do some of the maintenance to your existing frameworks too. That means if there are some common functions and if one function is not working and you need to add a click function for using JavaScript executor, then that is an additional maintenance that you are doing. So as a, a senior uh, automation tester or experienced automation tester, this maintenance is major role in an interview to you, uh, interview where you need to explain. Then the sixth phase is your handle reporting and analyze need. That means you need to handle all your test automation scripts to the manual team members so that they can start execution from the next day onwards and they will give you some of the uh, feedback on that. And again, you need to do the maintenance to their feedback or their questions too. Then reporting is one of the thing where you can provide the graphical analysis or graphical reports and your HTML reports that can be understandable to your all the stakeholders and management. This is important role. And then analyze the need. When I say analyze the need, you need to identify as a senior automation tester. Do we need to perform any security testing in this project? Do we need to perform any performance testing in this project? Do we need to perform any accessibility testing? Or do we need to perform a usability testing in this project? These are also major role by any automation tester. Now, apart from that, you need to say like, I am uh, involved into the prepare reusable functions. 
which improves the robustness, reusability and maintainability of the test scripts, then you can say the framework should be designed in a such a way that it increases speeds of their productivity and I am one of the part of that. And you need to mention the engineer also must support uh, the frameworks like you are one of the um, QA uh, member or automation test member who are going to support or implement automation test scripts and um, integrate integrating that with your test management tool. Now, as a senior test automation engineer, you must be able to take the leadership responsibilities and influence the direction of the automation efforts. And also, it should, uh, or you can say, I'm. It is schedule and prioritization that always I did. Now, parallelly to this, you need to achieve some of the goals. Those are being provided by your management. That is also one of the role that you need to explain. Along with that, you need to say additionally that test automation engineer also uh, be involved in supporting the build master, implement or improve build test processes, environments and the scripts. So these are all the roles that you can explain in your interview when somebody asks if you have an experience in a particular uh, 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 level of experience that is three to seven years of experience. Now, I am sure this automation test of roles and responsibility will help you to answer in interview and meanwhile, if you have any question or you want me to cover any particular topic, then please post your comment on this video. I'll try to cover that in my next video. Thank you for watching and please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel.